Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In this video, I want to go over four different bots that I have been testing. Um, you can see them on the screen here. And what I'd like to test with these bots on option alpha is whether a longer dated or a shorter dated iron fly works better. And also if we can make it a directional iron fly and basically two different, I guess, two different varieties, two different variations of determining uh, the direction or at least uh, playing into the direction of the current market. So with all of these iron fly bots, um, they're all entering an iron fly on SPY at noon. Um, however, where they are going to differ is um, what is the center strike of the iron fly? How long is the expiration of these contracts? And then there's also another variation that I'll introduce uh, with this set right here. But these are the four that I'm looking at. Um, I'm referring to it just as an EMA cross iron fly. So this is not an original idea. There is another bot on here. Maybe there are several, but at least I saw at least one and I don't know where it is. So I'm sorry, I, I can't give the credit, um, but it's based on what I saw regarding iron fly entries based on the uh, underlines price relative to its EMAs. So let me show you um, what I'm referring to and uh, we'll get into what these bots or how these bots are made up. All right, what you're seeing right here is a 30 minute chart of SPY and in the yellow line is the five EMA, the blue line is the 14 EMA. Now the EMA stands for exponential moving average. So it's more weighted towards more recent price movements. So I think I have it set up correctly. Um, here on TradingView. Uh, this is just the free account for TradingView that I'm using for charting. But basically with these um, EMAs, these exponential moving averages, I've got two different um, lengths right here. So I've got the five EMA and then I also have the uh, 14 EMA. And on both of these, under the time frame, I have it listed as a day instead of the chart so that the EMA values, they shouldn't change based on which chart you're using. So if I switch to a 15 minute, the EMA value should stay the same because I'm looking at the um, the daily, I guess the daily EMA. I'm not exactly sure if this is the um, absolute correct way to set it up, but this is the one that I think is closely matches option alpha's EMA values. So in any case, um, what I'm looking at here is when the price of SPY or whatever underline you're using is above both EMAs, then it's in a bullish trend, just like this. If we look um, back here, if the price is below both EMAs and it's in a bearish trend, so that, that's all I'm using the EMAs for. So specifically, um, you know, right here. So the five EMA is below the 14 EMA. So the orange is below the blue and the price is below the orange. So you've got price 5, 14, it's below, it's in a downtrend. Um, once you have a, you know, this cross up here, okay, so you got the price is above the 5, which is above the 14, then it's in a bullish trend. And it pretty much stays in a bullish trend. You do have some reversal right here. I'm sorry, it's not a very in-depth explanation, but basically just looking at price, if it's above the 5 and the 5 is above the 14, then bullish. If it, the price is below the 5, and the five is below the 13, 14, then bearish, right? That's all I'm using the EMAs for. So let's take a look at how this bot is set up. Okay, let's start with this one right here, this yellow one, it's called the uh, short directional even. And if we look in the entry scanner, this is what we're going to see. So I'm notating right here of a bullish movement. If the price is greater than the five EMA, which is greater than the 14 EMA, and if it's Monday or Tuesday, then um, open the shorter dated um, iron fly. If it's Wednesday or Thursday, um, then open a shorter or Friday, open a longer dated iron fly. And I have my short expirations and my long expirations. I think this one's three days, this one's five days, just so they would be expiring on uh, different days of the week rather than all clustered around just a couple of days of the week, right? It's bearish if the price is below the five EMA and the five EMA is below the 14 EMA. So just to take a look at this um, decision recipe right here, the symbol price is below five, the symbol price is below 14, and the symbol uh, five day EMA is below the symbols 14 day EMA, right? So that would indicate a bearish or a downtrend. So if it is a downtrend, then I, I'm opening a bearish iron fly. If it's in an uptrend, I'm opening a bullish iron fly. Um, if, you know, if the signal is sort of mixed, then it's a neutral, and I'm just opening a neutral iron fly. So what 
are these bearish, bullish, and neutral iron flies. Well, first of all, with a neutral iron fly, the center strike is right at the market price. That's what I have been doing with all of my iron fly iterations. With a bearish or bullish iron fly, I'm adjusting my center strikes in a bullish way or in a bearish way three strikes further in that direction. So for example, let's look at the let's look at this first one, the bearish center strike. So I'm going to be placing my center strike $3 below the current market price because I am thinking it's going down within a few days. With the bullish center strike, I am putting my center strike $3 higher than the current market price because I'm bullish. I'm thinking it's going to go up. So that's what these are referring to. It's still a 10 strike wide iron fly. It's still on spy. It's still opening at noon, but I'm just repositioning my center strikes either higher or lower. So if we were to visualize it, we could look right here on option strat. And again, this I'm just using the free account. There's a link down in the description, but let's say the uh, spy price is 439. Let's go up three strikes to 442 and then make this a 10 strike wide on either side, just like that. So that would be our standard bullish iron fly. Within a few days, I'm thinking it's going to move up into profit, and then I'd be able to exit. So that's the idea of using the EMAs um, to determine a bullish or a bearish short-term trend, and then repositioning my iron flies accordingly. So I am doing that with two of these right here. So um, the first one right here is a short, directional even iron fly. So um, the short means shorter dated. So it's either a three or five day. And I'm choosing a direction, either bullish or bearish. And then even refers to the strikes being even on either side of the center strike. So that's just the standard iron fly. That's just what I showed you over on option strat, right? On the other hand, we can also do this one. And this is just a 7 DTE, at least 7 DTE directional even iron fly. So it's either going to be 7 or 10 days depending on when, you know, what day of the week the iron fly opens. But it's also choosing a direction, bullish or bearish, based on the EMAs and placing those center strikes above or below based on trend. But the widths of the wings of the iron fly are even. So a 10 strike wide. Okay, now let's look at the other two, the purple one and the green one. What are we doing here? Well, let's look at this one first, and we'll look at the scanner. All right, so again, we've got a bullish, bearish trend, or neutral, and we're either going to be um, opening a shorter or a longer um, iron fly based on the day of the week that we enter. Um, however, what's different with this one, though, is I'm referring to this one as the broken wing iron fly, and again, this is not this is not anything... Uh, original. Um, there are broken wing iron fly bots on option alpha. I'm just running it here in my account, my paper account, to see how it works. So I'm still determining the trend, but now when I open this, uh, so if we click on here, so let's take a look at this. This was the bullish iron fly. So first of all, the short call, because it's bullish, is going to be determined by the center strike placement, and that was $3 above the current price. All right, the short put is going to be the same because those are the center strikes. It's iron fly, short options are the same strike price. All right, with the long call, this is going to be $10 higher than the short call. Again, standard for iron fly. However, in this broken wing iron fly, what I'm doing is I am placing the long put only $5 below the short put leg. So now they're not even in terms of their long strike prices. One is 10 wide, one is five wide. So what would this look like over on option strat? Again, a bullish broken wing iron fly. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here. So SPY at 439, um, it's bullish iron fly. So we're going to go three strikes higher, which would be 442. My long strike is going to be $10 uh, higher, so 452. But here, to make it a broken wing, I'm going to move my long um, put strike only five strikes away from the short put. So that would be, what, 437? So this is what the broken wing iron fly would look like. Um, and you can see because the wings are not equidistant, then that's why they refer to it as a broken wing. But it's also a bullish broken wing because I'm expecting price to go higher. So one reason I, you know, in theory, I like this strategy 
is because I'm expecting the price to go higher, right? So it's going to get further and further into profit. If it moves up too high, then maybe I can catch my profit target on this side after it peaks. All right. Obviously, if it just shoots up, then yeah, you're going to lose, you're going to lose a lot of money. But I like this because if I'm wrong about the trend, then I'm only going to lose this much money over here, negative 139 at expiration. Using the EMAs, it gives me a little bit more confidence in determining the trend. But if I am wrong, then I'm not losing as much. If I am right, then hopefully I can catch the profit as it moves up to here. If it goes up too high, I can catch the profit on the way down. So that's the idea of the directional broken wing iron fly. Okay, so that's what I have here in green. And this was the shorter dated uh, broken iron flies. And then in purple, this is the longer dated, which is seven DTE, at least seven DTE um, directional broken wing iron flies. So as you can see from right here, um, only one of them is actually positive, And that is the even short iron fly. So let's take a look at some of these trades and how they've been doing. All right. So as usual, I'm using this um, spreadsheet that I made just to track different types of um, strategies and uh, plot them against one another. So as, as you saw in the option alpha um, bot, um, list. Only one of them was positive, and that was the yellow one right here. So this is the three to five or three or five DTE even iron fly, broken wing iron flies, which are the purple and the green. They haven't been doing too well. You can see they're losing about the same amount. The even is also doing better. Um, there's not many trades here. There's only what, 14 trades at max. I'm also plotting it against the free range iron fly, as well as um, the previously profitable 10 DTE iron fly taking profit at 15%. You can see that one has not been doing very well. In fact, none of them are actually positive except for this yellow one, this three or five DTE even iron fly. I'm entering every day and then exiting at 10% um, uh, profit or a 20% stop loss. So I am taking smaller profits and I think that it has been helpful uh, across the board um, because you can see even in the same range, I'm not losing as much as the free range. All right, even in the same range, I'm not losing as much as the 10 DTE. I'm just taking those profits uh, a lot sooner, so I'm not in the trade as long. The other thing I'm noticing is that the, um, the trend seems to work, but not when it's a broken wing. So theoretically, I thought the broken wing would be a really good idea, but so far it just hasn't panned out that way in you know these dozen or so trades. What has actually been showing to be much better is just have a standard even winged iron fly, but you can place it in a bullish um, position or in a bearish position based on the trend. Now, how you determine the trend may be different than how I have been determining the trend. I've been using the five and the 14 day EMAs. It could be something completely different for you. It's just something that I copied from another bot. But I think determining the trend would be super helpful, especially when we are in a trending market like we have been the past uh, several weeks. So in a range bound market, when you know the free range was working well, the 10 DTE was working well, the flybread, all of that was working just fine in a range bound market. But once we choose a direction or once we're in a direction, then I think the directional iron flies might work a lot better. So I haven't gone live with this. I was just testing it out to see how it works, but there's a few things that I'm learning. One, choose a direction um, I think is going to be beneficial. Number two, taking profits sooner is going to be beneficial. And three, um, sort of along those same lines, a shorter duration uh, trade um, is going to be beneficial. Not necessarily shorter DTE, although it could be, as we see here, but just being in the trade a much shorter time so that when a trend does occur, it's not blowing out your account or it's not blowing out your, your trades. Also, it's uh, by being in the trades a lot shorter, you don't have multiple trades going on at the same time. And when a direction does take place or a gap up or gap down takes place, it's not turning a whole bunch of your trades into losers all at the same time. So this is just one idea um, that we could do moving forward is just choosing a direction and um, trading an iron fly based on that direction. If you have any questions about this strategy, about broken wing iron flies, just iron flies in general, about option alpha, then please leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to it as quickly as possible. Until next time, trade wisely and take care.